Uh. Yeah, is, uh, there we go. The freestyle <laughs> by Corey Holcomb and this bitch. Because <laughs> I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> I don't like your daughter, bitch. Ever since I saw the little hoe, niggas knocking on my motherfucking door. <laughs> is Trina there? Is she coming out? I say, hey, put that thing in that bitch mouth. Cause I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> Going in my refrigerator. Every nigga that nut in her, somehow they hate her. Oh. Her two kids that she kept because she thought them dudes was going to give her fuck. <laughs> but then they ducked out on her ass. <laughs> fuck that silly slut. Even though that bitch do got a big ass butt. But I won't fuck her though. Because it's your daughter. So get the daughter out of my face before the slaughter. I don't like your daughter, bitch. Oh, I told you he has some shit. Uh. Yeah, is, uh, there we go. The freestyle <laughs> by Corey Holcomb and this bitch. Because I don't like your daughter, bitch. <laughs> I don't like your daughter, bitch. Ever since I saw the little hoe, niggas knocking on my motherfucking door. Oh, 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 hey, oh. Sexual Q dogs, but this needs to be brought up. Like, I don't know what school that is. I don't even got to put the school on blast. Mm. But I'm pretty sure it's on blast already because I saw that a couple. How weeks you ago. party with the sissies? Even at the look in Chicago, the sissies <laughs> might come to a club, but them motherfuckers be in a corner deep. Over they here. be in a corner like. <laughs> Y'all come over here. We're going to fight and fight. And <laughs> niggas be like, as long as they put some motherfuckers stay over there. Stop. In that little corner, he it out. <laughs> bite and fight. Maybe, right. not, maybe not the bite, but. I'm saying, man, these motherfuckers is out walking around with the niggas with their assholes out. When I saw that And if there's something up, wrong yeah, with crazy. me, tell me. No, I that know. was crazy. I don't understand it. There was no header to it. Nothing. Somebody had shared that. I, I saw it like a week or so ago. And that well, was what, crazy what was the purpose of the ritual? Is it a right. ritual? What was it? But what's this the significance what happened, of having your shirts off and your butts up? When gay better. niggas get fired up at fret parties, them motherfuckers be like, I'm about to fuck something. Uh, about to fuck something. <laughs> but there's no girls in there, so then I what? know. Right? That's why them assholes was out. It was like, who gonna fuck me in the ass in front of all the homies? Oh. Oh. <laughs> suck a dick. I want to get fucked by a nigga. That's what, what, that, that's what uh. kind of party that is. That's a fuck by a party, nigga. I mean, a fuck um. by a nigga party. I would. <laughs> How do you hang in some shit like that? Somebody said fraternity Franks. <laughs> fraternity Franks, right. <laughs> Koi Fi Moist. God damn it. <laughs> Anonymous 8 1. <laughs> Bro, that's some, what the fuck was that, nigga? <laughs> Uh, I, I, I don't know yeah, what that I, is. dogs are normally the big motherfuckers. Them the, them, them, them the niggas who got muscles and the fat niggas, right? <laughs> <laughs> muscles and fat. 
Oh. I've seen some fat ass cute dogs. It's just like, this is sorority and all them bitches ugly. I'm like, that's the ugly bitch sorority. Sh- hey, Shaq uh. is a cute dog. Shaq looked like he fit the description of them niggas, though. Steve Harvey. I don't give a fuck about no motherfucker Steve Harvey, but I'm just saying, man. Mm. How the fuck do you. Bolo sexuals. Bolo sexuals, right. How do you kick it at that type of party if you're a heterosexual male? I'll be like, oh, 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 oh. what's this gonna be, nigga? I ain't gonna be in no party with niggas' asses out. <laughs> Wait, though, was there a title to this? To the so called. Yeah, what's the name together? of the video? I don't know what's the name of the video, but Let's motherfuckers get need Doodoo fucking, University. Right. The, what did they call it? You know it's Queer stunk. Dog. You know it's stunk in there. Black fraternity Omega Sci Fi Q dogs rallying with their butts out. And that was it. That's fucking sad. It. That's <laughs> fucking sad. It's embarrassing, yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah, what I'm, what do you yeah. what do you what do you really want to say? Why don't you just let it be known? You want dick in your ass. <laughs> yeah, are you curious or already already went well, there? What, could ma- that what? have been just that school and maybe not the whole fraternity? I don't know, but I'm just <laughs> saying, man. I just kind of think like. Oh, so they're supposed to be. Oh, in a city oh. school. What I miss. Okay, what TT is explaining. She is explaining it. She got history. Ga- those gatherings are supposed to represent like the dog. So they're getting, they get dirty and they get, woof, you know what I'm saying? Like nasty in there. So they're acting like dogs. Look at Corey's face. <laughs> man, don't know niggas I know act like that, man. If motherfuckers <laughs> act like that, they fucking niggas. What? I don't know no motherfuckers who act like that. <laughs> sausage party. <laughs> right. These motherfuckers make a sausage party too in there. I don't give a fuck, dog. You do what you want to do. But if I'm at a party full of niggas with their ass out, I'm gone. Mm. Yeah. You see more than three niggas with their ass out. This, is a, gay, go. this is a gay party. Let's get up out of here. <laughs> this is a gay party, nigga. <laughs> the fuck out of here with that soft ass shit yeah. y'all niggas need to be ashamed of yourself somebody yeah. called it the foxhole university oh, foxhole university my lord have mercy nigga Jamie Foxx would have flew to that shit that nigga would have been in that motherfucker like is it just stop anyway fuck <sighs> that shit yeah. shit Chicago what it do look Corey I met came back from Ronan. Chicago oh yeah Ronan, Ronan. Ronan. amongst, what amongst Ronan? other people I met a lot of 5150 what motherfuckers up? at the they came backstage and showed love. You Send know your saying? pictures in, cause I like to see. I like to. Ronan is the homie, in. man. Yeah. That motherfucker funny, bro. Ronan got a Ronan got a real grip. When I shake Uh-oh. niggas' hands, I be feeling that nigga. I was like, oh shit, damn, I'm gonna have to pop this little oh. nigga. Right <laughs> here. Stop, he ain't no real big motherfucker, but he that little stocky little shit. But it ain't them sausage hands, and little shit. Keg like, built, little, Jim Brown hand. Uh oh, did you see a keg built little thing? <laughs> yeah. I'm fucking with you, Rona. You the homie, my nigga. He's up in there. <laughs> That's oh. crazy. I met a whole bunch of people from, you know, 5150 family. It's just, uh, you know, niggas with niggas were saying who they was. It's, yeah. I met this one nigga. He was drunk. Then a motherfucker. <laughs> Drunker than the dude in Arizona? Uh, Carlito's Way. Um, that nigga, he, he be on my Twitter. I don't know if he be in the chat room all the time, but that nigga was... You know how a nigga be so drunk, it's a shame. Oh, he didn't remember. So, so, so he, he don't even know he, he met you. But he was, he wanted to, he was like, hey, what? He was, niggas was looking at him. He was like, what, nigga? Don't act like I'm no motherfucking broke ass nigga. Oh. I got a $40,000 car, nigga. Oh, bless his heart. <laughs> niggas, oh. was, niggas was looking at this nigga like, what the fuck is this nigga talking no. about? But it was love. Yeah. That's why I tolerated the shit, because I know he was just Fucked up. Some people when they get fucked up, they uh-huh. they you know it's different. Oh, Ronan, Ronan, uh, Ronan, uh, backed you up. He said, "Yeah, something about Carlito was drunk as fuck." That's drunk gentleman. Said he had to saw? escort him and his chick to the <gasps> car. Yeah, who did? Ronan said he had to do oh. that. Yeah, cause look, the nigga. Okay, it, I just didn't feel like the nigga was on no fucked up shit. It's just he was one of them niggas when he get fucked up, he get loud. Okay, mm. I try to show love to niggas. I don't. I ain't one of them niggas who be like, hey, security, get him. I ain't one of them yeah, niggas. Yeah, right, yeah. right. You try to handle it on your own. Right, right, you know what I'm saying? But we was backstage and shit. I was worried and shit because he was, <laughs> he was stumbling. 
Uh-oh. Oh, so he was really fucked up. I mean, this is, I mean, he, he don't, he, I ain't saying he no little punk motherfucker, nothing like that, but I did not want him to step on the wrong nigga foot backstage. Because oh. <laughs> there was some niggas backstage. I was like, please don't step on that nigga foot right there. This going to be some shit. Because, you know, with some niggas, they ain't got patience for drunk niggas. They was looking like. Waiting, just in case. <laughs> That nigga step oh. right over here. <laughs> that nigga, that nigga step on me is, um, is uh, I was like, please God, that's why I was making sure the nigga was close to me. Right. Not like I'm saying my nigga Carlito way is a punk or nothing, cause ain't nobody calling nobody out. But Hello. some of the niggas I know who was backstage, I just was like, hey man, this, 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 this these my fans, man, don't don't try to calm down, cause I saw that on ten look. Yeah, like, uh oh. At any moment, it could have came through. I was so glad he ain't step on my cousin foot. I was like, oh my God. Please, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna be able to grab this nigga. Look, this Rona is, said it was crazy. <laughs> it was, my cousin is one of them, um, them work, them workout niggas. Oh, so he ready? Oh, okay. He's all so fit. He swole up. It ain't even he real. ready to put them shits to work. I told him, nigga, we get into it. I'm popping your ass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, you're not gonna, gonna do the squeeze on him. You're not gonna do no, the squeeze. I can't get squeeze? his neck. He's too big. Oh. He's he one of them niggas. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to Cool out, cool out, cool out. All right, all right, all right. Oh. All right, we good. Oh. We good, man. We good. Right. Oh. <laughs> I can't. Anyway. Fuck y'all, okay. my sexy ass blazer. Kiss my black ass. Yeah, it's that, that's that Python slick stuff. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just wore it casually. I don't give okay. a fuck. Yeah. It's anyway. a casual night. It's cold up in here. <laughs> um, back to the other shit that um is obvious. Black butter <laughs> This motherfucker right here. <laughs> <laughs> On the black butterfly side of the game. Freeze couldn't make it, so I can't fuck with y'all like I wanted to. That's good. Well, y'all niggas had me rolling last week, though. Hey. Niggas be getting fired up and shit. We brothers. Go to work then, Nick. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> we brothers. <laughs> Did I say that? Go to work, nigga. Well, go to work, yeah. nigga. <laughs> nigga, let's work then. Stop. <laughs> So I like, said that. Work, 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 work. Man, you need to watch the shit. Y'all I didn't say that shit. Oh, it was just... goddamn, y'all niggas oh. are stupid over there and shit. Oh. Breeze was like, you want some work? I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I heard y'all niggas was clowning while we was outside. I was clowning oh, both geez. of y'all. <laughs> we, had to, we didn't even know what the hell happened, y'all right? Niggas, how, the fuck, how the fuck niggas get fired up over a... What the fuck happened? <laughs> no, I just, I just thought y'all been knowing each other a long time. I yeah. thought it was a joke. Who fuck two real? bitch back in the day? <laughs> no, neither one of us. I just thought it was a joke, and I was trying to make light of it because I was like, they're not serious. And then Corey was like, because I was like, oh, let's go out there, let's. Wa-. I knew it. I knew they weren't serious. But guess what was extra funny? Yesterday when I came in to bring the heater, because nobody had been in here since that day. Both chairs were pushed back, leaning like this. They were tucked, so nobody been in your eyes. Right, y'all laughing. niggas got up both like it was on. Were, both y'all their niggas were got outside. The- <laughs> y'all niggas was like, "What I'm saying is, yes, stop." Y'all niggas scolded each other with verbal. <laughs> the verbal assault in the hallway was fucking. No, we did some uh, some man shit though. I did right. not threaten yeah, to shoot them out. sillies. I when I was making the joke about getting a gun, you know how the people do the gunfire in the air to scare. But cut it out. We did some man shit. So we silly. went outside and talked it out like men. We didn't have to scrap. Right, and y'all yeah. straight. We yeah. good. I talked to Freeze a couple times this week. There you go. Yeah, did you I'm go to his young. comedy thing Thursday? Did you make you know, it? I fell asleep. That shit was just it too goddamn late. late. I kept telling him. He said that they're going to move it after the first year back to that not, shit was down too to nine. That's late. Way I was late. trying to Remember, go. Remember, Corey, it was like it started at 11 well, p.m. You know, like in New York, people go out late. I know that, Earth. but not right. here. Here, y'all sleepy here. Well, it'd be sleepy. different if it was a Friday or a Saturday, <laughs> but it was. it's a Thursday night. That's tough. Well, anyway. Somebody say shark versus clown. No, oh, Fuck y'all niggas. Somebody say Stephen A want to fight me. Stephen A don't want to fight me, man. Stephen A will not fight. I know it. I saw that nigga on one episode talk about it. They sleep on me. I'm six four nine. Get your oh, puss ass okay, out of here, okay. nigga. That's funny. Niggas going to rush his ass. Niggas going straight to the ground with his ass. Shh. Who saw that fight they had with the uh, 
with the white dude and the black dude in prison. <laughs> I didn't in see prison. that. Y'all ain't seen that video? In prison. Oh, my God. Frank, shit find it. So, I got it. I sent it to Frank after the shit. Man, <laughs> look. That's why I be scared to fight sometimes because you never know who you fighting. Because this motherfucker took uh, ass thrashing. <laughs> Not an ass whooping. <laughs> That motherfucker got rearranged, dog. What? By the white dude? No, the white dude. You know, he was a big white dude. But whoever that brother was, he fought. Whooped his ass, threw his setup afterwards. All that shit. Uh. When you get into fights with niggas, dog, out here in these streets, Hmm. it is some very dangerous shit. What? But that that shit was in jail, so I don't know. I don't know what the fuck. I think that had to be like in some motherfucking like 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 lock up. Like when you get Oh, when you yeah, get because processed. they don't be allowing them to happen. Right. right? Well, so you when know, I'm, when you're in jail, you be around your own. Right. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right, right. But right. I'm saying you usually don't let them last that long. And how did they this film it? Was, was in the that wrong surveillance? Cell. They put him in the wrong cell. <laughs> no, but who filmed it? That motherfucker, he was whooping his ass. They was like, oh. oh stop. <laughs> you're so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> they, was like, they was like, they was getting fired up. Oh. You know, you You know, sometimes <sighs> somebody say, somebody say when, um. Uh, my jacket made out. Fuck y'all. <laughs> Most of the time when there's a fight, it be about two motherfuckers who get fired up. Everybody else be like, stop that shit. Get them off each other. Right. Ah! The whole motherfucking thing was like, <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> then I saw some fight. I'm going to put it on uh, I wanna after you, the show. Yeah. This is fight night, I guess. Look, the black dude got in a fight with this white dude, and the, and the, and the white dude was like, I'll kill you, nigga, and they was fighting. And look, while the nigga was whooping his ass, somebody in the crowd was saying, Wop! Wop! But no. if the dude was hit, he was like, Stop. Wop! I was like, what are you? Sound they were making sound effects? They were making sound effects. You was in the back. <laughs> that wasn't me. It's what I saw it. He was hitting the bubble. Wop! 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 I was like, damn, what's a cold game right here? Hey, well, I got a question somebody for you. Somebody said my jacket made out of recycled tires. Fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> How come you're not eating the food Darlene prepared for you? Yeah. Darlene didn't prepare that food for My me. My aunts did, but I brought we it. We all ate it. We let all ate it. Let, <laughs> let me tell you something. Darlene came in and she had some, what were they? Tamales. Tamales. Some yeah. real tamales. It's the holiday tamales season. tamales are secondhand tamales. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, look. She didn't buy them, okay? Somebody gave it to you, right? What do you mean? My well, aunts just made okay. those. No. Somebody gave it to you, right? Well, yeah, they made them. What for city me. they live in? Here in Los Angeles. So they okay. I, I thought it was further out there. No, I there. have people everywhere. <laughs> further so, out. Oh my God! So he, he y'all were, ate tamales. That he was thought they were transported. Yeah. Oh my God. Somebody said Darlene got worms. <laughs> no, there were no worms in but it. But you saw her eat a roach. I mean, worms last week. We did. You were <laughs> eat a tamale from I will her. Only eat a roach if I have. Frank, y'all motherfucker. <laughs> Y'all can eat behind Darlene if you want to. Hey. You didn't think about oh that, did you? No, I didn't. Oh, I she did. opened the package of worms and That's ate them. That's right. And you ate a tamale she gave. Oh. That's right. Oh, yeah, now you're to, I don't forget <laughs> shit like that. Wait, now you're trying to say the tamales are laced? I don't know what with you did. worms. I laced them with some critters. Well, how did she keep them when warm? When she offered me them tamales, what'd I say? <laughs> let, let me see. Are... <laughs> Open I said, them up. let me see them. Oh, my God. I just wanted to see if I saw the worms. She got the worms in the middle of them motherfuckers. They were delicious. I, uh, yeah, and Darlene, delicious. tell them how you're keeping them warm. Worms I'm might be warm. delicious, I'm, but I'm I, 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 I won't know. Jailhouse style. I have them sitting in the front wrapped in tinfoil, keeping them by that heater right there. Y'all They're know we're in a storage heater. and shit. <laughs> that is We're in a storage. Darlene got the tamales by a heater and shit. <laughs> There's some caveman shit going on in here, y'all. What you got to do. You got to do what you got to do. No, they came warm. They're already warm. They steam them, so they're very warm. I nigga say my jacket looks slippery. (laughs) (laughs) Soil (laughs) moldy. Oh, I like that. I like that. Stupid. Smuggle it. Smuggle. Somebody say Darlene was born with a taco. (laughs) Donkey meat. Donkey (laughs) meat. I don't know what them tacos are, but you ate it. They're the no, I had, uh, first of what all. was it? You had sweet corn. The sweet corn. I had pork, and there's chicken What's in there. What's the difference between a worm and a roach? What do you mean a worm and a roach? I heard roaches are good for you. Well, they do pick up all the little crumbs and stuff like that off the ground. I'm I mean, I imagine, worm, I imagine. You said the cooked. worms are protein, right? 
I, well, there a lot what? of those insects are protein. So why you won't eat roaches? I said I would if I had to. Primitive snacks. Look at hypocrite ass motherfucking Titi looking, turning oh. her nose up. You ate the worms <laughs> with her. You did eat the worms. You think a worm better than a roach? <laughs> If the roach could talk, he'd be like, bitch, the worms stay on the dirt. If they if they cooked and sauteed that roach like them little worms were cooked, because that was good. That barbecue flavoring was delicious. No, but if they dry, but if they cooked them, because the roaches don't have a lot of... They barbecue sauce on shit. If they cooked the How roach... How you going to knock shit? You know shit tastes good. It went in the stomach before. It's not the same thing. Oh, it's Lord. Snake Lord. leather. It's not the same thing. Why not the same thing? You will eat a worm, but you won't eat a roach. It's cooked, first of all. I would only a eat licorice fresh. Licorice blazer. They going in. That's a what you get. Blazer. That's what you get, tar. Tar jacket. Oh! <laughs> My jacket's Wet sexy. Tar. I walk around the house naked in this jacket. We're about to redo, about to redo someone's roof up in here. I sing Freddie Jackson oh. in this jacket. <laughs> Found someone else to keep you warm. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that! Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't. shit. That's All right. right. That's Get your right. worm throat ass the fuck out of here. Look. <laughs> Roach uh, You and TT, goddammit. If y'all, uh, some Johns pick y'all up, they're going to be like, man, these bitches smell like worms. <laughs> Get your Bass Pro Shop throat <laughs> ass the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh. God damn it. Ooh. Anyway. Oh. Somebody said my jacket fake Gucci. <laughs> Somebody said my jacket made of roach wings. Fuck y'all. Yeah. Oh, that is shiny like this. That's good one. Who said that? Uh, asbestos blazer. Uh, asbestos blazer. <laughs> Fuck y'all. I'm wearing this blazer. It, huh? I'm wearing this blazer in Toledo this weekend. No, but I want to see what it looks like Toledo, on camera. Ohio. Toledo, Ohio. It's Funny nice. Bone. I don't think they get to see the sharpness of it. It's sharp. It's, I it is it was sharp. Different. No, 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 it is sharp. I don't think they can. What is oh. that, velvet? Yeah, I know. That's what, yeah. It's my sexy blazer, like goddammit. Yeah. Fuck elderly bitches in this blazer. He was a very distinguished looking gentleman. <laughs> he looked good in that blazer, sweating up on my. No, this fuck was. Oh. All right. Oh, no, shit. It is. It's sharp. Man. They, don't, they can't get the full effect of it. Off yeah, I, I'm going to try to hook um, Darlene and TT up with an Orkin gig. Y'all the Orkin bitches. Oh, we just come in and just start so slurping things they... up with our... We just start slurping them up with our... Is that how they kill them? <laughs> we don't kill all the worms. They, they don't kill them. They capture them. <laughs> they eat them and shit. They pray. Oh, shit. He was doing a job with Wait, Orkin. No. TT walking up behind the worms like It'll this. be called the, the more... <laughs> Hey, it'll be Put safer. Put the barbecue sauce it'll on them. Oh, the, oh, oh, it'll be safer for the environment. <laughs> right? Because you won't use the sprays. It'll be safer for the environment and more humane. So instead Somebody of say you guys Jermaine, J- Jermaine Jackson skin jacket. <laughs> Is walrus it skin. One guy said it was walrus skin. Rhythm Nation. He <laughs> said <laughs> I got on a leather map. <laughs> anyway, it's not leather. It's velvet. It's filling. velvet. It's, See, they think it's, it's very good. Like it's very you, thin. It's very soft. Yeah, when you hug bitches and shit like this, <laughs> he will never <laughs> love you. Oh, by the way, since you're singing, happy birthday to Steve. Steve Russell's birthday was uh, uh Steve yesterday. Russell? Yeah, Dave. I yesterday, to yeah. Steve Russell. You didn't tell him happy birthday. Happy birthday, Steve. With there your you flathead ass neck. Yeah, I posted. Steve Russell was on the radio in Boston. Oh, nice. Doing his thing. Yeah, he's yeah. on the radio yeah, in Boston. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's playing it. They, they be calling in. Too many troop records, nigga. Oh, oh, stop. Just kicking in with my that, Yeah, they're on tour. They've been doing a bunch of shows. So. Good for Steve. Good, good, good. So we're going to jump into D shit? All right. Let's go ahead and get this part of the show over with. This is a part of the show that a lot of sponsors want to sponsor. It is called... <laughs> stop. D's Loose, Loose Talk, Talk About... about Bullshit. Bullshit. You got some good ones, D? Acronym L tabs. Just L tab it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh God. It is not that loud, Corey. All right. Uh, <laughs> you you must be under rock if you haven't heard yet about Kanye West. What happened? Well, he is officially uh, hospitalized, being held on fifty one fifty psychiatric hold. 
man, that nigga start watching our show and they be coming you up know, with ideas. They be coming up with ideas to try to blow up fake robberies out of the country and shit. Well, Corey, now he listen, fucking supposed on. to be crazy. Well, let's just hope that this is, I, I mean. You got the shit fucked out that asshole, didn't you, boy? Stop it. Anyway. He's he, at that cute old boy. <laughs> Not nice. Anyway, he had just canceled the remainder of his current tour. Wow. Uh, Saturday night was the last of his shows. Uh, That was the one where he ended it early, went kind of crazy. We did a rant, uh, including Jay-Z, Beyonce, a bunch of things he was mentioning in it, political stuff. He even said something about he was going to do stuff to cops, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, at the end of it, um, that's when things, when they ended the concert after that night, they ended the rest of the leg of the concert. And uh, they said, and then it started to spiral out of control from there. So it took, what, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So then yesterday was when his doctor um, called in. So there's, a, there's, a, there's an actual audio out there. I don't have the audio. Um, but if you look at it, the reason I put the pictures up of his mom and him, she passed this month. And it is around this time where he kind of goes off the deep end to me the this last couple of years. This month a few years ago, and right? if you, and, I bet yeah. him and Caitlin had war in the house. She, Caitlin's not around. Get your ass over here, Kanye. But listen, anyway, if you notice in the pictures when his mom was... You want to go to hell? If you you want to no- go to hell with me, Kanye? If you notice in the pictures of his mom when she was alive, he's always smiling. And <clears throat> in, in a lot of pictures after that, thereafter, it, it kind of seems like but I've... didn't I say... I ain't trying to talk shit, but didn't I say that baby, you never see that baby smiling? Oh, the little baby, yeah. yeah you, or the, the the girl, you mean, the first one. Yeah, yeah. maybe she's getting older, she's smiling a little bit. It's something wrong when you're around them motherfuckers. If you look at your granddaddy and he got on a dress talking about, you want me to breastfeed you? What? You're not going to be happy. I don't think the grand. How can somebody be happy Caitlin's in that house? They don't live with Caitlyn. Can you Corey? imagine <laughs> Chloe? Chloe is, Chloe is her, is her aunt, is right? Is the aunt of the Can kids. you imagine Chloe kissing you? It reeks of dick. Oh, stop. Little uh. disc kisses. Dick kisses. Take this. Hey, it's his heart and beard on the baby oh, doll. Oh, shut the hell, damn it. She's not with Harden now. She was homeboy. What's his she, name? She ain't with him, but he still come through. You know how it go. When you first break up, you get to fuck for <clears throat> about two months. Anyway. Fuck it, come on. All right. All I want to do is fuck you because you treat me like this. All right, bitch, I'll try to do better. Okay. Uh, anyway, some wow. close to him. God damn. Ow! Go ahead. Forget that story. Anyway, you just killed it. All right. Well, we'll, well we wish him well. I do. Kind of I, do you. I don't speak for Corey, but I wish you well. No, but see, I think, it, like, it's... Niggas be leaving his room like this. Sometimes he has some profound things to say when you can get through the rabble mm-hmm. of all of the shit he's trying to say. But sometimes it'd be profound. Sometimes, you know, it'd it be heavy. But the problem with him now, mm. when you had that 5150 label on you, this is how they discredit you moving forward. Right, so he can come back from this, but at the same yeah. time, they're going to be like, but you remember that time you went crazy? Yeah. You ain't all together anyway. So they can discredit anything that he says now that might be valid. Well, well, well look, well, companies, he's still being evaluated, companies right? that have stock in what he do can now say, He's not stable enough to do this. Mm-hmm. So we need to take over. Yeah. Well, yeah. well let's just hope for the best. <laughs> <one>. <laughs> I know how exactly. they do. Mm. When you in bed with them motherfuckers, because mm. he getting fucked by them people and getting fucked by them bitches. <laughs> mm. Double-edged sword for real, nigga. <laughs> no. in that dick, ain't you, Dave? But look here. We ain't want nothing bad to happen. We don't. We want the brother to, <laughs> to recover, recover fully. God damn it. You yeah. ain't fully. Get asshole. back, man. What is yeah. asshole recovery from getting fucked in it? Is, that a, is there a scientific word from that? We mm. need to come Anoplasty. Up with that. Annie, what? <laughs> Recovering from that? Or Anoplasty. Anything? Recovering from getting fucked in the ass. What is the, what is the 5150 term for recovering from getting fucked in the ass? <laughs> What the fuck is going on? I know them niggas in the chat room thinking some stupid Rectal shit. rehabilitation. <laughs> Rectal calm down. <laughs> Rectal calm down. <laughs> anyway. They gonna start coming up with them. They about shit. to say mm. some shit. Ass rehab. <laughs> Ass rehab. Hmm. Oh, what is that? Rectoplasty. Uh, <laughs> right. Blowout relaxer. No, I'm just fucking with you. 
Booty botany. What the? Bo- f- recoivery. <laughs> recoivery. Oh, that was the one. Who Ain't did it? No Who said that? <laughs> recoivery. <laughs> Who said that? Koi plastic. Oh. Ain't no anchoring. Fuck. That was the best. Ass I think- Booty bounce back. <laughs> An anal ectomy. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga getting the rectum rejuvenation done. Oh, God. <laughs> Retwizzlering. <laughs> Retwiz- Twizzler twirling. Oh, okay. shit. You know Good done. luck, niggas. All right. Go ahead. What else you got? Moving on. Anyway, we just spoke. Can you see that far? Here we go again, otra vez. Talking about the vision. I, what does I otra tell vez you? mean? Again, there uh, you go. It's a again. superhero in Spain, ain't it? No. <laughs> It means there you go again. <laughs> anyway, uh, we spoke of it last Old week. Otra vez is coming. Otra vez. Once again. <laughs> anyway, we spoke of it, and now we shall receive Dave Chappelle. Speaking of Dave Chappelle, he's coming back. It was announced yesterday. Netflix has ordered up and Tush locked time, in man. three new Chappelle comedy specials. Uh, the vice president of Netflix said that these specials promise to be some of the most anticipated events in comedy. They will be released simultaneously in 2017. It, is, it has been reported that Netflix has already given Chris Rock $40 million for two of his specials. And so there's no telling because they have not announced how much Dave got, how, how much they gave Dave. Uh, and the company just announced in October, this past October, that it will spend a total of six billion in content, more than NBC and CBS combined, just for this year, for next year, for 2017. So they're giving a lot of money away to do show, shows, but and there's no FCC involved, so you know. You can say what the fuck you want to say. Pretty much. Which, which, which is so much better. I mean, this is the new world of television. To all my people who've never been outside the country, when you leave out the country, you don't have to be scared to talk. Like everybody here is scared to say faggot. Scared to say all them, all them words that motherfuckers be like, <laughs> you be like, what? It's a fucking faggot. That Q party was full of faggots. It's a cigarette. Whatever the fuck. <laughs> in, in motherfuckers England, who wipe off with only dark colored towels was at that party. They use a white towel, might as well throw it in the garbage. I'm the king of that shit. I always throw towels. I wipe my ass with down the hallway at hotel. And they were all shiny Except Vegas, because they got them. Um, I think they had oil on them. Vegas got them cameras when they, they see you throw shit. But I'm saying the average hotel ain't nothing like throwing an ass wipe rag in front of somebody. Do- Especially when I hear little kids in there playing. I always throw that ass wipe rag in there. This week, I threw my ass wipe rag in front of this dough. I heard somebody about 8 in the morning say, what the fuck is... I was like, yeah. <laughs> An ass wipe rag. Ass wipe rags. You know them white hotel rags? What the fuck? They ain't got no bleach to get that Oreo shit out. Oh. You eat Oreos? You ain't getting that shit out that rag. You might well throw that rag away or throw it down the hallway and have some fun. You didn't eat a gyro the night <laughs> What's before, What's going you? on? What? <laughs> you ain't never wiped your ass with a rag? It's better than toilet paper. Toilet paper smear the shit. Ass wipe rags. Your ass is more cleaner, goddammit. It. It's just you got to sacrifice the rags. I used to do it at home, but, you know, my people be like, Corey, what is this rag doing? I was like, hey, I didn't uh. Uh. But uh, them hotels? Oh, nigga. It's on at the hotel, boy. And I, especially them soft, good <laughs> Sheridan Hotel rags? Oh, nigga. Them ass white rags. Especially if the water <laughs> real hot. They're going to be having this picture up at the lobby. <laughs> Twizzler be like, Swiffer. Twizzler Swiffer. Please, please put some dark colored towels in this man's room. Right what? <laughs> Twizzler right. Swiffer. Boy, who said sh- that? Everybody's shy to talk about what they do. I love wiping my ass with hotel rags. They uh, every time the housekeeper coming down, they be like, "You didn't use the toilet paper." I'm like, "What well, we use the toilet paper for?" It These still has a design. Big on wet it. ass. Somebody say gyro rag. A <laughs> Twizzler chamois. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that shit. It uh, ain't my rag. God damn. Fuck. I always when I when I got housekeeping coming in, I get the big towel and I put all the little rags in there and I ball it up. Now I notice all housekeeping bitches are smart. They never unfold the shit under there. Why would they want to? They just to? grab no. the bundle and They're throw the whole bundle. They're going to take the whole pile. <laughs> the bleach to death pile. 
hell no, they're not gonna open that sucker. You bleached up. it. Death bleached it. I had one bitch open up that thing, and she looked over there at me, and I was like, <laughs> "Ass sham." Embarrassing. She was the right. That rag looked like goddamn um, some <laughs> leopard skin shit was on that motherfucker. Mm, all right. Here it we wasn't go. the Oreo shit. It was that. It's um, gonna be ass and shit day today. It was that chocolate it's brown. Shitty show today, it's my shitty. nigga. <laughs> okay. Really not chocolate brown. What's a light brown? Mocha. Mocha shit. That's normal when your shit come out mocha, right? You had some Snickers. All racist shit is the same color. Am I right? That's one thing we can definitely. Frank. Uh oh. Your shit brown. This nigga got amber, amber got shit. Amber. amber. Shit. <laughs> he got <laughs> orange <laughs> shit. <laughs> On a high vitamin C diet. Right. <laughs> I can't. Don't oh. eat no pork. Oh. <laughs> nigga said he got amber shit. Oh. <laughs> nigga got wood grain colored shit. <laughs> For Micah. <laughs> uh, okay. I ain't got Don't no thing. No, you do not. Oh, my Wiping Lord. Wiping your ass God. with a warm rag is fucking a pleasure in life. It's yeah, just that's... everybody is taught to think it's nasty, but just like farting and bending over. Wait a over. second. So you mean to tell me that you don't wipe with toilet paper first and then use the what warm rag? Going? What the fuck am I going to waste some toilet paper for oh. when I got a wet-ass warm rag? Then I get another rag, the medium-sized towels. I soap it up real good because it's long. I only got to go one good time all the way through my ass because the first rag get rid of mostly everything. The second rag is so my drawers ain't shameful when people go through my laundry. <laughs> you can't be my age with shitty drawers. Motherfuckers don't forget that. <laughs> your age. What does right. your age have to do with that? You what can't be too old to be having it. Oh. You're too old and too young. Because after a certain age, you're going to start having shitty draws again. You're going to need somebody to wipe your ass at a certain age. Somebody said that That's Frank. about right, D. You said you, gonna, you like that hospice shit. I do. You're going to be an ass-wiping motherfucker. I'll do what I have to do. If, I, if I'm taking care of somebody, I'll do that. You can wipe a stranger's ass. Hey, I shit myself. Well, you, you can wipe their ass. At, at I'll the, be like, well, you'll be a shitty motherfucker. At the point of hospice you jump care, in the pool, Corey, they're not going to be able to pretty much talk. They don't talk. I mean, you're, you're, at, the, you're at the end. You're at death. So right, at that point, so. it's just changing diapers. It's not wiping. Somebody said Frank is on a Cheeto diet. <laughs> <laughs> shit is orange. He's <laughs> An old Cheeto diet. What color is amber? Amber is like a light orange. Like I thought bird. amber is what happened when a kid come up missing. That's amber alert. Oh, oh okay. my god, that's amber alert. <laughs> amber, it's named after a, a little girl. It's that named after on. the shit. They like, oh no. shit, amber. <laughs> that just happens lot. to be her name. Oh my god. <laughs> amber alert. There's some shit oh, going on god. out here. Wow. All right. Anyway, let's keep <laughs> moving. Um, Sean Stockton <laughs> of Boys to Men. I think I gotta wipe my ass. Wait, what? Go ahead. Sean Stockton of Boys to Men. Which one is that, D? That's the long, narrow, kind of skinny one. Long neck motherfucker. Skinny. Yeah. One. There he is. Beaker looking nigga. He uh, posted up. <laughs> sh- damn it! I'm Beaker done. off the Muppets. Got oh that my God! No. God damn that it. motherfucker looked just like Beaker. God dang it. What them hoes, folks? You got to have your boys to me an album when you holler at hoes, your long face ass. Cut it out. Anyway, listen, that's his wife. Okay. Uh, that's his wife. That's his wife. He's been with her for 15 years. Um, Congratulations. Speaking Sean. of that. what they baby say up. when it came out, D? Hold up. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, my God dang it. Anyway, he's, he's getting some flack for posting up a video on his IG, oh, right? Uh, of him. <laughs> publicly <laughs> apologizing to his wife, Sharonda Jones, for messing around with other people and doing things outside his marriage that he says he should not have been doing. That's a he, good nigga. He went on to say, well, because he got busted, apparently these people oh, have been... because he got called? Yeah, he because, didn't say it off GP? He got no, called first? No, be, because what happens, even in the video, which he tried to remove, that honey, you, you can't remove him after nigga. you post it. You can't really remove him after you post it, right? Because everybody else has the Snapchat. They've saved him. Oh, anyway, he yeah. says in the video that... These people that he was with, he doesn't give too much detail, but he says that they've been, they were doing some things to cause drama and to possibly try and break up his marriage. Anyways, uh, he apologized to everybody um, that this may have affected, especially his wife. 
Um, he quickly deleted the video, and of course people were saying uh, he didn't delete it right away, but he deleted it as he was starting to get more messages criticizing him for the way he chose to do it. Um, but again, like I said, those things stay up. So you can actually look it up. Everybody grabbed it, and it's a, it's a video of him on his IG saying that. like he's. Well, look, I just want to say you can't do nothing about um, a dude who accidentally chose some trick-ass bitches that's going to put you out there. You got to choose your bitches better. Uh, you know your albums and shit ain't cracking no more. You ain't got nothing to offer bitches no more and shit. The bitches still, gonna tell perform. on you. They still perform. They still perform. He's on. They you. gonna tell on you. Oh stop! Bitches don't tell on you. You ain't got nothing to get them bitches. That motherfucker like, well, you know, that, that was then, but right now, I just need your love. Them bitches was like, what? No, <laughs> stop. Although he got <laughs> to till the end uh -oh. of your marriage. Oh, oh no! Shit. Them bitches tricking. Bitches ain't shit. That's so messed up. What yeah, a it's pretty fucking sad. funky bitch. It's pretty what, sad. I wonder what his wife said to the bitches. Oh, so you gonna fuck with the motherfucker? Then tell on him. Something. Yeah. You who know knows what happened? Wife, you fuck with trick bitches. All these bitches telling on you, stupid nigga. <laughs> you fuck with these trick ass bitches. Look, the bitch here. Hold on. Hello. Yes. Here you go. Hello. Hello. <laughs> That's your bitch, though, right? That's your bitch. You fuck with bitches like that. You a weak motherfucker. <laughs> that bitch setting you out. Yeah, right, what you gonna do? That's why you got to stop like, them bitches' ears together. That's your I wife would be talking. Call him back. Oh. I got to beat your ass in front of her now to get my manhood back. Oh, my beat God. On you now. Oh my I got to whoop your ass in front of my wife. <laughs> that's terrible. Fucking, you gonna oh, tell on me, shit. bitch? We been fucking. How you gonna tell on me because you oh. mad? I'm gonna beat your ass and my wife gonna be in the car. And we gonna drive off, you funky uh, bitch. Uh, me and my uh, wife, I, I don't want my wife to touch you because she ain't, she ain't never fucked you. She ain't got no bitch to beat your ass. But I'm gonna beat your motherfucking ass, bitch. She ain't never fucked you. Right. I so can't. she ain't got no business fighting you. That's what you're supposed to do. Uh, when them bitches tell on you after they done fuck wow. with you, them bitches have violated the code of the game. Mm. Them bitches need to be on violation status. <laughs> if you ain't never, look. You ain't supposed to beat up bitches for nothing but shit like that. <laughs> that, is, that warrants an ass whooping. When you trick after you fucked with somebody. That's some fucking deceptive ass shit. Somebody said they need to be beat in the bottom of their feet. <laughs> right. Push the shit out of the bottom of their feet. Man, look. The bitches need to get a hit like motherfucking Popeye. Remember when Bluto on that movie Popeye when he was beating them in the ground and shit? Oh. I, 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 that's how them bitches oh, need. Them bitches need. Yeah. How the fuck do you trick on somebody? And I want to say to all the bitches out there, if a bitch come to you and tell on your husband after she done fuck your husband, you should try to get the bitch to come over to the house and you and your husband whoop her ass. Oh, and if your my husband God. don't whoop her ass with you, Break up with his ass. But if he stomped that bitch out, y'all stomped that bitch out, oh y'all deserve to be together. Because that motherfucker showed you, even though I fucked up, I'll kill a bitch for you. They calling you Ike and, Holcomb, and may, Ray and Holcomb. And maybe, and maybe I don't the, give a fuck wait. if you tell. Chris Holcomb. <laughs> yeah, these hoes ain't loyal. I don't think that's a good idea, Cora, when he said uh, that the, the, the couple could try to beat, beat her down together. I, that would be her moment. To, I'm going to have to get a couple little licks in myself and then kick him off to the side. Throw in a couple licks D, on on D, the dude. That question. would be hilarious. If you got a man and a bitch come to you talking about what she did with your man after she done fucked with him, what are you supposed to do? What would be your thing? I don't know, you telling I, on him now because you're not getting what you want? But most of the time I look at it like when people do do that, it's never happened to me. It's happened to me when I was dating a guy, a couple of guys. It's happened to me when I was dating guys, but not what with you my. you mean the bitch coming to you? Yeah. Because really? bitches, oh, bitches ain't shit. And I was like, oh, like Lord. I was like, I don't need none of this. I was like, look, you have him. Because I was just dating him. You know what I'm saying? I got the call. I'm not talking about like, somebody you dating. <laughs> no, but I'm, I'm talking about dude. a motherfucker that y'all motherfuckers never... that broke bread together. No. This motherfucker love you, but he fucked some bitches. No. <laughs> they that didn't happen. Orenthal Holcomb. <laughs> That's right. OJ and bitch. OJ beat it, too. I can <laughs> tell he killed that bitch, um, Nicole. The way they... That, uh, remember, remember when he got them motherfuckers in Vegas? He was like, so you gonna take my shit, huh? You gonna take my shit? Did you see that video? Wait, what? Like, you, you got my shit? 
You got my shit? I know he ran up on the call like that. Who you with this pussy motherfucker? You like him? Watch this. <laughs> you like that bitch? What you think gonna happen to you now? Yo, what is this? Is <laughs> This is going to be the shit. They call this Wait, nigga this Corey is Mayweather. Be, this is going to be the shit and scrapper episode. You know when you stab <laughs> that Scrapping. gallbladder or something. Like, <laughs> Come on, what, man. What the? What? <laughs> you know, he just hit the skin. They be like, ouch. Oh. Yes. Somebody just called oh, the organ. <laughs> <laughs> they just called this nigga the Zodiac snack killer. Damn, like, yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. What the hell? Anyway. That shit fired me up. I mean, we All was right. talking about the little boys, okay. the man motherfucker yes. head and shit, because he a tripped out looking motherfucker oh. and he a whole ass nigga. I saw him on the plane one day, oh. and uh, it was a whole bunch Sam, of people Sam, here just, we go. All your episodes on the plane. You need to write I them. see niggas on planes. Damn. He be going places. That's the flight diary, He was coming right? from Vegas. That's the flight diary. He was on <laughs> Southwest. Huh? Going to Vegas, everybody flies Southwest from L.A. you, right? Oh, that was Homeboy. No, that was Sidney Poitier that oh went to God, me. Oh, my God, see? <laughs> on the plane. Sidney Poitier came at me. <laughs> Maybe he was just acknowledging you. That motherfucker That's wanted to raise me. I remember that. Thing. <laughs> that nigga wanted to raise me in the sun. Nigga. Oh. <laughs> Can you imagine Sidney Poitier's frail You're ass? going to take it. Holding up big ass Corey. <laughs> Corey, baby. <laughs> Why you think Sidney Poitier little? That's well, a big motherfucker. Yeah, he's big. He's People big. think Sidney Poitier is He ain't right. big enough to hold you up over his head, <laughs> raising you in the sun. <laughs> hey, boy, there's some strong-ass gay niggas out here, bro. Oh, oh, oh man, hell man. no. There's some strong-ass gay you niggas out here, You're not going to say Mr. Poitier uh, Okay, let's keep Sidney moving Poitier on. Poitier gay is a motherfucking happy man. How the fuck you think you do movies like that? You think niggas get movies if they ain't fucking? I don't think he's just one of those alpha, alpha ones, but he's just, he's just on the little softer side. Somebody called but him I don't Sidney think he's Cordier. Cordier, that's not nice. Sidney Poitier up. asshole look like a gorilla ear. That nigga getting the shit banged out of his head. <laughs> okay. Anyway. All right. Finishing off, because I don't want to take too much call more. Call him but... Mr. Twizzler. <laughs> that's terrible. I, I, I don't want to go over time uh, because wow. enough, I know we started late, so I'm going to end it with this one. All right? Just say you ran out of shit. Go ahead. I did not. I have two more stories, but I don't want to talk about the last one, you little butt. <laughs> Fuck you get mad at me because your shit. Go ahead. I didn't get mad at you. Here we go again. Boy, he for sure would love to see that. He liked that. He's like he fantasizes me being mad. Me being angry. Somebody oh, look at your, me. <laughs> somebody say your clit look like a UFC ear. <laughs> what? Ah, they didn't say that. I thought of that. I just was just Oh, oh brother. Shit. Oh. He this was... clit look like a UFC ear. <laughs> That's funny. Cauliflower, yeah. Oh All right, God. anyway. Uh, for those of you that have been using the app Shazam, uh, <clears throat> it has been out for seven years. What does it do, D? Hold on. You don't know what Shazam, you know what Shazam is, right? No, I don't. It's been out for seven years. I'm a huge user of Shazam. It is the one that if you hear a song and you're like, oh, God, who's that? who's that by? And then you turn on, you look, and it pops up who that song is by and who did the song, the name, everything, right? You bullshit. Here we go. <laughs> Anywho, uh, just want to <laughs> warn everybody, it has just been released two weeks ago, uh, a very uh, well-known, <laughs> a very well-known, um, uh, what do they call this? don't be knowing what the fuck he's Shut talking. up! <laughs> you keep interrupting and you bother me, so then you throw me off! You can't read, nigga! Excuse me? <laughs> Why are you looking at me? Put your glasses on when you look at me. Really? Because these are not for this. If I put these glasses on, I feel like I'm a, a, a looking at Harambe. So I got to have them down. I got to have them down, especially with that jacket on. Go ahead, on. All right. Anyway, if, for those that use Shazam. Your musty glasses wearing that. Excuse me? How are glasses musty? That's why I, I wanted to ask you. Womp, womp, womp. That one didn't, didn't fly, Corey. Anyway. If you use the app, they're <laughs> warning you right now. But they say, the company says not to worry. A hacker, a very well-known hacker, has discovered, and Shazam is owning up to it now, that yes, this is true, but they're not doing it for any malicious reasons. It's designed like that. Anyhow, they've discovered that the app never shuts the microphone off. So those that have had the app on your laptop and desktop using Shazam, 
that one never closes. So the microphone has always been running since you've downloaded the app. On the phones, however, even when you turn the app off and you're not using it, if you don't go internally into settings and shut off the microphone, it is constantly open. So it says it stays open for this purpose. They designed it like that because it's the purpose of using the app is to quickly try and find out what a song is. So if the microphone shut off every time you close the app, that's defeating a lot of the purpose because then the song might end by the time you get it. So they've left it like that. You have to. It, so Don't they lose said that game for everything they do. Boy. Yeah. So they said the company says that it's not like that we're doing anything malicious with the data. It's not like they're saving anything, processing anything, or phoning back to their servers. It's simply on when it should be off. But it was designed like that. So, uh, like I said, the, you can go on motherboard.com to read more about this details of this story that just came out. Um, but the company is. Constantly reassuring people that this. For everybody who don't, don't know worry. what it is, Shazam is that app where you hear a song and you be like, hey, I want to know this song or whatever. And right. then they tell you the name of the song. Mm -hmm. But this is what I want to say to all you motherfuckers. You cannot find the solutions to your problems through a cell phone. If you read all of the shit that you don't take the time to read, you will realize <laughs> all that shit is basically saying we can do what the fuck we want to do. So it's been on and open. Who knows what the sounds and things like that. I got an iPhone. To. I already know this motherfucker. You think they cut this camera off because you cut it off? This camera is looking right now at Darlene seeing if she going to eat another dead animal. Oh, Lord. Or insect, rather. This thing is looking at Zoe. It can see through that hat. It can tell Zoe right. shaved good for the show. <laughs> this thing can find freeze right now. <laughs> right now, Freeze is somewhere with his shirt off smoking a cigarette. What does it see what? on you? <laughs> I don't know. I know Tell exactly. Me. It, it, that was your chance to get me. You can't see too much, though. It has to back up. <laughs> nope. <laughs> it's too close for that. It needs more it's range. Too close to get for that. Mm-hmm. Big bar That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Ask them. They'll tell you what it is. Colors. <laughs> Colors. 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 <laughs> Colors. <laughs> 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 what else you got? That's it. I did have more, but you you know, if you were in a hurry. Sometimes you have to say. No, look, I do. I have a really good one, but I didn't know you might go long on this one. All right, real quick. BET founder Bob Johnson <laughs> met with Trump this past Sunday to discuss how he can better reach out to African American community. In a live television interview yesterday, Mr. Johnson said after his meeting Everybody that he... Everybody who Mr. Johnson is. I just said it, but you weren't paying attention. I just said... BET founder. Everybody don't know BET? The re retired founder. He's the original founder. And the reason I put the other picture up is because he had uh, married that 37-year-old. 37, 37 the first bitch took half the money. Now he got a new, new trick. That's her. <laughs> but anyway, um, he said that he um, got with Mr. Trump... Um, so that they can discuss uh, how he can better reach the African community, like I said. But yesterday in an interview, Mr. Johnson said that he had a great chat with Trump. He explained that he and Trump talked about business solutions to social problems, including a program where tax credits and incentives go to companies that invest capital in urban markets. But nothing from this meeting has been publicly shared yet regarding any talk or solutions to the issues of any racism and police killings or brutality. Bob Johnson said, let's give him a shot. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Let's see if we can find common ground with him. I think it's the best interest of African Americans. Fuck that coon nigga. When he left the meeting, uh, Trump was like, take the scraps home. Mm. He was oh. like, no, nah, I'm cool. He was like, take the fucking scraps. Well, apparently they've been friends before. He left before the meeting like. Oh. I would Thank see it as an insult <laughs> so. if you didn't take the scraps. Take the fucking scraps, nigga. <laughs> oh, God. Made him clean up the whole table from the meeting and shit. Take them fucking scraps home. What was the name of that movie that shit was on? Uh, 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 with Lawrence Fishburne. What is going on? Hoodlum. Hoodlum. 5150. Y'all put that scene on motherfucking shit all week. Uh-oh. When he told that motherfucker who played Prince Father in Purple Rain, take the scraps. Uh-oh. That's what happened to Bob Johnson oh, at the White that? House. Thank huh? you, Dutch. Well, they're not at the White House yet. Remember, he's not been sworn oh, wow. in, so... It don't matter. He kissing ass now. Yes, he Let's is. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt. And then they're still trying to figure out, you know, the Electoral College. I think it's December 19th. They're trying to get enough. Do away with it. No, they, well, they're trying to get enough signatures 
because as it stands right now, Hillary Clinton has a what 1.7 million vote edge in the popular vote. She has 1.7 million more votes mm. than Donald Trump. Mm. So what difference does it make Nothing. what she got? If they said he won, he won, mm. and everybody is going to adhere to what the fucking people on TV say. <laughs> yeah. Who gives a fuck who won the election? <laughs> what the people on TV. What the motherfucker said when Bush won that shit, what they did in Florida? Mm. Everybody saw that shit, man. Are you fucking? This is a fucking joke, you dumb voting motherfuckers. People who vote are people who lack reassurance in themselves. I don't think people. How the fuck can you vote unless you either dumb or you're not reassured? Right. It has to be one or the other. I mean, what else could you possibly say that will justify you using gas money to do some sucker shit? You might as well see what it feel like to fuck a mule in the ass. Well, Corey, since you don't vote, your voting poll station is usually right around the corner from your house. So you just walk there. Really? Is yeah. that a fact? Because mm-hmm. I remember one time when I lived in Chicago and on voting day, the motherfucking trains broke down. Well, that's probably because they lied and they said they lived in one area. You, you're voting. No, what home. I'm saying is, what I'm saying is. They always going to find a way to make the vote not shit. Oh, you're the saying they made it harder the for The subway them, broke saying. down in Chicago mm. when people used to have to go. Now, even though you voted, your vote don't mean as much as the next motherfucker. Am I right? Is that basically yeah. what it is? That's yeah. what it is. Yeah. So what the fuck Until are you, you doing? Until you tell us something different. You can't. That's the thing. It's, it's hypocrisy to say the system works it's and we should get, go along and just, and, and just go with it. And then at the same time. There's this huge faction of people saying, okay, let's abolish the Electoral College because they feel like Hillary Clinton was robbed. But look, check it out. Mm-hmm. So you got somebody like So Bob which one Johnson. is it? Do, do we oh, accept it? Is or? it Bob Johnson? Bob Johnson. Is the yes. nigga name Bob for real? Robert. Yes. Well, that's his born name. You're right. But anyway, he was The sucker it. nigga from BET, he know what it is. He playing dumb. When he say, let's give him the benefit of the doubt, that's his way of trying to be on they side of the game. Billionaire to billionaire. Right. That's true. I'm, He's probably I'm, trying to get in there for something. I want to be with y'all. Wait. C-H-A-W-A-L. Chow. I want to be with y'all. I want to be with y'all. That's what the fuck he doing. He's a Stephen A. Smith coon ass nigga who marry bitches that don't want him. Okay, how did, how did oh. that conversation go? I don't know. You Bob Johnson. All the pink part of his lip was out the whole time he was talking. Oh, was like, Look, Lord. Mr. Trump, I want you to know eyes behind you 100%. Goof ass nigga. Fuck is you going to Don't ever say hi to me if you see me, goof ass nigga. You embarrass me. Don't ever say hi to you. I don't if think you he's going to be saying just keep walking, I don't think nigga. he's going to be saying hi. I'm glad. Don't speak to me, nigga. You was a <laughs> sucker ass nigga going up there trying to reason with a motherfucker that made you shine his shoe and you didn't tell nobody. <sighs> shine my fucking shoe if you want this meeting. I don't care about shining your shoe. I don't care. I <sighs> want to be in. With y'all. With y'all. <laughs> C-H-A-W-L-L. Chow. Suck ass, nigga. Uh, all right. You, you think, D? Yeah. I like the way your braids look, D. That look cool, goddammit. Uh, braids? A compliment. Oh, bless his that's heart. That's a braid, right? Where's our braid? No, that's a knot. What is that? Knots. What is the difference between a braid and a knot? One is a knot, no. It's like it's knotted braid. up, and a braid is, is, is pieces to come together. Like you that. twirl the shit, right? Well, no, you braid them. That's what a braid is. You're braiding. What did like you do braid. up there? You, I just n- knotted the hair up. I just put it. So in the when bone. you braid, you don't twist. Okay, hold up. Now he trying. I'm to asking. If you telling <sighs> me when you braid, you don't twist. I shut the fuck up. <laughs> a, braid, a braid is more complicated because it's actually very intricate, right? You have to. Take I believe it's more complicated, but it's okay. twisting, right? Pretty much, yeah, kind of. You're, so, tw- you're ra- actually you're twisting pieces around. God, motherfuckers don't want to give me credit. Okay, for that's a, but thank look, you. About to, look, they about to show Uh-oh. you right now. Look, oh, the girl yeah. time. They about to show. We it's a braid. Doing a braid. Titi's doing a braid. That's a braid. Genevieve's hair. 
which they is, can't see that shit. Which is now intertwining. Me, what is the difference between that and what you did to your head, D? See how how she's taking the she's time to do that, right? This, braiding, this takes intertwining. No time to do, really, so like you got this. bootleg braids, right? Somebody <laughs> called it a not, taco knot. But they're not. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's not. What the fuck? It's not as intricate as a braid. Look, it's just very easy and quick. I mean, the thing that takes the time is to is to do the. Um, TT could braid real good. Got very that, good that, braid. Yeah. That's that, that's that plantation. See, look, shit. this is <laughs> that. <laughs> Somebody get Missy in here to braid this girl's hair. <laughs> get your ass over here and braid my hair, helpful. Uh, I'm your no, uncle, goddammit. But thank you, Corey. But no, braids take a lot longer. This the thing that the took long to do this. I ain't got to have no clothes on for you to braid my hair. I'm oh your my uncle. Oh, my God. I'm watching you this weekend. The thing that takes a long time to do this is the, is the parts. Be still, it'll be over quicker. Party oh. there. Oh, my God. You know how many good little girls are there? Wait a second. That? Why am I explaining that? Because, Corey, oh. wait a second. No. Why am I explaining that? Because Corey used to get we just hair didn't braided. Understand. Let's see. Be still, it'd be over quicker. No. Look, that's what all the little bitty do. Look, look, so this look, is how you do this. That's what she's doing. That is the same thing. That's a braid. Holy cow, that is. You don't so think weird. that's a braid? Oh. What is wrong with you? Do you know there's some bitches right now looking at your hair like, fuck her? <laughs> Them bitches do that shit there and be like, shit, I need to. Bring some tweezers in there, boy. Please, please stop. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, oh, but thank you though, right? I like him. It's like an instant facelift. Like, Nigga, man, it's out of control. Yeah. So we're going to take a, a break in a minute. I want to say to everybody who's offended by stuff I said, this is the 5150 show. Biatch. Too much sugar for you. Yeah, have one of those tamales, Ain't no please. sugar got me acting like this. I always act like this. That's God true. Put your blind ass up. Look. Oh, my God. He is th- on one. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Right? I'm sorry. Dude. Right? You can see, oh right, God. D? Excuse me? You can see, right? Of course I can. Stop being silly. What happened? <laughs> what? I was looking at Zoe's. What? Zoe's got glasses, too. Oh. But he's smart. Corey, we you see I'm we, fucking with you. I don't want Zoe to beat me up. We need to take him. We need to take you Get to the work, optometrist. Get some work, nigga. We need, we need to take you to I'll the take optometrist. take my head off, nigga. What? Shut up. If we all go to the optometrist with you, well, I would you love. Head off, boy. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Anyway. That head got a wreck when you was mad. Anyway. Look. Anyway. All right. All right so we we're going to take a break. It's 942. Nigga. 942 in the West. We're going to take a break. I'll be right back after I take this guy in the after, after Corey eats a tamale. I ain't eating your worm infested shit. Oh. Mean. Latin lens crafters.
to achieve me the perfect execution. Yeah, they talk like it's real, but it's no action. Playing both sides of the field, Bo Jackson. Old heads give me great wisdom. Yeah. While I'm in my prime, I'ma try to build a system. Build a system. Right now it's fucked up, I gotta deal I with gotta it. Deal with but it. you gotta love how I keep it real with yeah. you. Stay being fake, I ain't gonna get your ass. I'ma let a bitch call karma, come kick your ass. Real niggas do real things, learn it from B.I. Loving how the boy clock spitting and you can see why. This is my level, fuck if it get you mad. Came up with niggas relied on a pin in a bag. Nothing to lose, so I stay 100. You get to hit it out the park, please don't bunt it. Yeah, gotta have it cause I can't teach. When you get to understand, you can thank me. Yeah, gotta have it cause I can't teach. When you get to understand, you can thank me. Real niggas only do real things. Take a pick, it ain't as easy as it seems. You're too close, you might overdose. That's some real nigga shit, that's the post of toast. Real niggas only do real things. Take a pick, it ain't as easy as it seems. You're too close, you might overdose. That's some real nigga shit, that's the post of toast. What up, 5150 Nation? It's your boy, Corey Holman. What you doing? You at the crib? You with your girl? The one you live with? Your wife? Check it out. I know y'all sitting around thinking of something to do next, but whatever you do next, you got to do it in my new line of clothes, the Corey Holcomb Main Chick Gear. I got clothes dedicated to that girl that you live with, the one that made it the wife. Don't you want her to walk out the room looking like this? I know you want her to walk out the room looking like this. Check it out, boy. You buy your girl this main chick gear, and next time y'all lay down together, it ain't going to feel like the one you settled for. It's going to feel like the girl you want to be with. And we know that. Main chick gear by Corey O. What up? Yeah, another motherfucking beat sent in to the 5150 show. About to put the 5150 spin on this motherfucker. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, um, yo, um, and yo, bitch, crib, chillin' out. Yeah, man, yo, bitch, crib, chillin' out. She me and your bitch on the couch. My thing in her mouth. She put the dog out. Her kid. When he saw me, he was full of doubt. He knew what a nigga was there for. About to get his motherfucking, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Stupid ass bitch. But you a stupid ass trick. Take care of her. You buy her shit. While I'm working this dick in and out of her mouth. On her couch. The bitch started to pout when I got ready to leave for washing my thing in her sink. The bitch stink. <laughs> Everybody know you in love with a hoe. Check it out. Uh, and yo, bitch, crib, straight, chilling out. Gee. Yeah. Yo, bitch, crib, chilling out. Come on with it, dude. Yeah. Yo, bitch, crib, chilling out. Yeah. Yo, bitch, crib, chilling out. Yeah. Yo, chillin out. That's that DJ Quick Sound and Jack beat right there, boy. <laughs> I'm at your bitch house, chilling out and shit. Bitch ain't talking because she ain't shit. <laughs> hey, <man. laughs> Wait, do the sugar free. Uh-oh. Oh, don't the air, stay there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Since your daughter got the best bed, we put her on the couch. Oh. We went in the room, I turned it out. We <laughs> cut off the light. Yeah, the pussy was tight. I love your bitch. <laughs> Use the trick. <laughs> and then
Hey. Good. Yep. Testing, testing. <laughs> huh? We back? What? <laughs> I'm all we little drunk. Say what? what? I can't hear. <laughs> your ID? <laughs> yeah. I ain't hurt your eye? Well, you know I have excellent hearing because I have my ears flushed. I do that all the time. Oh, yeah. You, that's right. Huh? <laughs> Wait, what happened? You what said you got excellent hearing. You'd have heard me. It, that was like a muffled whisper, Corey. No, Come people on. in the 5150 show you heard even, what I said. Because you sang it to a microphone. I can't hear it over here. That's messed up. That's not nice. <laughs> you didn't hear me, Zoe. You didn't hear that, Zoe? See, I caught that. What'd I say? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> and you said it with your teeth closed. He... I said it in my, uh, what do you call that well, shit? What did he, he say? I said, shut the fuck up. See, he didn't even move his mouth. <laughs> shut the... He had the puffy mouth going on. This is the 5150 show. Right. Tuesday before the Puss Says Holiday, also known as... Time to eat. Thanksgiving, yeah, 2016. It's Tuesday night, two days before Thanksgiving. Mm. I want to let everybody know that Thanksgiving absolutely ain't shit, but it is an opportunity for you to see your family that yeah. want to eat at your crib or eat at the person's crib who is up to cooking all night because don't nobody really fuck with them. That's so awesome. enjoy your time with your family and shit. Um, fuck your play cousins, um, cause oh. people be fucking their play cousins. All oh. that, oh. bitch, you ain't my <laughs> real cousin. Oh, the old friend of the family. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. you ain't my real cousin. Mm -hmm. I used to with fuck you? with my play cousin. I ain't gonna even say her name. You know what we used to do, bitch. <laughs> hey, boy, we to get caught. Look here, I stopped fucking with her cause she let my brother do it too. I was like, you bitch. Where's you your know? loyalty? Your your brother told you. No, I saw my brother doing something to her, and I was jealous. <laughs> I, was, I thought that was my family pussy. Mm -mm. Say my family pussy. I don't know what it was. You ain't never fucked the play cousin, D. No. <sighs> family what? pussy. What is I know that? you fucked the play cousin. You got that savagery in you, motherfucker. You oh, just, my God. You're trying to act like you a good nigga. You didn't fuck something. I haven't fucked any play cousins. Wait, look, that's somebody right. called it. No, oh, of course that's somebody. That's Ronan. Ronan says incest day. <laughs> incest day. Yeah. Incest that's day. That's crazy. Well, all y'all motherfuckers, enjoy your family if you're going to see them. God damn it. Play cousins our game. You can fuck them. Um, uh, but there's a lot of people going through a lot of fucked up shit around this fucking Thanksgiving holiday due to the same motherfuckers that's always bringing the bullshit. What was that shit you was telling me about, D? What the happened? The bullshit. Uh, the Dakota Pipeline. I mean, you still have, you know, folks trying to prevent that from happening, even though the company said that they're still going to do it. Nothing's going to stop them. They uh, This weekend, they used even more excessive force on the protesters, and they... Uh, Threw in, like, I forgot what the thing's called. It's like some kind of a fabricated type of grenade type thing, like a dry one, and it, and it went off in the crowd. They're, the law enforcement's denying that they used that, even though... Thrift store closed grenade. So many people got injured. A woman, a young lady, may have to have her arms amputated and removed, and uh, 17 people were treated for hypothermia because they're spraying them down with they're power with hoses. cold water. And it's freezing and it's out there. it's cold outside. Yeah, yeah. That's some so, wicked shit. <sighs> Irony it's just, is, is crazy. Yes. Thanksgiving. And these are Native Americans. Y'all already Americans. robbed these people. You yeah. already robbed them. Of
Now, why? Mm-hmm. Oh, if you pull up that story, too, a lot of those guys got off. A lot of those guys are good. Oh, yeah. Why didn't they shoot them? White. Exactly. We don't shoot our fellow white patriots. Mm-mm. It was just a disagreement between white people. Mm-hmm. Now, if you were black. And you got this, you got this sucker-ass Bob Johnson nigga walking up to Donald Trump asking for something. Mm. What was he asking for? Don't matter. What the fuck you asking him for anything for? Anything. Why would you ask Donald Trump for it? Mm. Wow. Mm. I can't imagine asking him for shit. I wouldn't give a fuck if I was about to die of thirst. I'd be like, fuck you. You're so stupid. <laughs> go spit. Right. Go spit, you son of a bitch. <laughs> well, there are a lot of people coming through. Look, there it is. White privilege. Sets Oregon militia members free. Members free. Mm. Those are the dudes that was held up. We're patriots. This is our land. See what it says at the bottom, right? Deny, deny it if you. Andrew, family camping trip. Bad gasket. Meet Earl. What time on that gasket? 8 a.m. 8 a.m.? 8 a.m. Done. New gasket. UPS Next Day Air Early helps businesses solve for the needs of customers like Andrew. This, the infrastructure, the system of racism needs to be addressed. And if you, if you never address it, if you too cowardice to address it, you shouldn't be talking about how you should get your shit together or how you should fit into this system. Hmm. You heard that, Obama? Yeah. You heard that, Stephen yeah. A. Smith? You motherfuckers have done nothing but worked against the people who look like you. Y'all some suckers. I'm just putting it in there. I'm going to fuck Michelle. Mm. Michelle. <laughs> you got people that are coming through and really it's helping true. out those people that are still standing over there, standing down with that, uh, the Standing Rock situation, right? The Sioux Tribe, because they need it. But it's not, they claim that. Can you imagine says, the corrupt gonna, ass cops? They're not going to break down. They're not going to, they say saying, they're not going to give up. Let's get some hoses and we're going to spray water. We're going to freeze them, them out of here. cold outside. Yeah. yeah, and tell me this that every time You're not going to be able to weather this. Wicked <laughs> motherfucker. Oh, even wicked and uh punks, right? Cuz you always see that people are all covered up. Mm. Anytime you have those officers out there, you don't see them in the right they're covered up. Show yourself. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Are you ashamed? Do you not want the drama? I've seen like, them I've show seen... themselves because the law is behind them, whatever they do. No, I've mm. seen they a lot do. of them where they're they covered gonna up. They walk them through the game, just like your homeboy. They walk them through the game. Walk you, mm. Man, you, I done got walked in shit. I remember I was with Floyd Mayweather. I was laughing. That, them expensive-ass motherfucking hot dogs and shit that you buy at the Clippers game. Mm-hmm. Mm. Man, I was with Floyd Mayweather at the Clippers game. The owner, what's that motherfucker? Before Sterling, that song, Sterling was like, hey, good. Oh. They let us pick through the shit people was buying. We was in that motherfucker like this and shit. Damn, these, them shit. <laughs> what? That's how we was doing the chicken tenders and shit. We, was, we, was, we got to walk through the game. You get what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Mm. I what happen when the police do something to you. They walk you through the game. Mm. Walk you through the game. Police, they, your family going to. We're going to launch an investigation. He shot a child. We have to see what happened. <laughs> Let it be reversed, and there's no way. Well, we don't want you to rush to judgment. There's it's a video of him shooting a kid. <laughs> We've still got to canvas the scene. You don't know what that kid did before he got there. <laughs> right. We have several witnesses. We're going to ascertain the reason why the child was no, we need time, basically, killed. what that's saying. Is we need time to gather all the negative shit we can find on these people. That's how they do it. Give us time to post 
the negative stuff. This of kid Lisa didn't Cooper. blow his candles out at his fifth birthday party. Oh. He was a problem. <laughs> anyway. Wow. Well. We've been profiling him since that time. Y'all be careful as y'all driving this weekend. Yeah. No drinking and um, driving. Yeah. Um, besides the, the racist ass police, you have drunk drivers on the road mm -hmm. who will run into your ass. They will kill you if you're not careful. And stumble their drunk ass out because they always live and say, <laughs> they, yeah, they don't feel live. anything for real. I'm sorry. Yeah. You guys. I will call. Let me <laughs> call. <laughs> Uh, they always live. There's a dead family out here. I <laughs> oh, hit them. Oh, shit. Uh, they're all laid out. <laughs> they won't even the do car. that. They'll take off. Oh, there's a lot of hit and runs nowadays because wow. people, are, people are creating accidents, uh, texting and everything, and then realizing what just happened, and they've been taken off. They say that it's gone up. It's fucked up that <laughs> when I see people in an accident, I won't stop because I heard about the time. I ain't going to even say no name. Motherfucker went to go see about some people they saw in an accident, and that motherfucker told the police he ran me off the road. Wait, whoa, what? whoa. Oh, so when they went to go try and help out and, and, and walked up on the scene, they, and they the accused that. the police came. What? And they going to take their motherfucker. He said he word. ran me off the road. Look. See, there it is. Drunk Look. driving goes up around Thanksgiving? Yeah. Also, back on the 5150 side of shit. Mm -hmm. I mean, that shit we was just talking about, that was the part of the show where we tried to get deep, but. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually deep when I say this shit. Uh, I want to talk about pheromones. Uh oh. Okay. Zoe, what's a pheromone? I'm not rightly sure, but well, I know. Well, you've given off some when you came in here with that jacket. That comes off. Pheromones. There's some pheromones. Like some hormonal shit. Let's yeah. look it up. Pheromones are the bolitic nectar produced by all day sack syndrome. Bolitic. Okay, that's Shut smegma. Shut up. Who's that? Smegma? That would be smegma. What's the definition of smegma? That's, that's bolitic true. nectar. That's that's ballitic nectar. There it is, pheromone, a chemical substance produced and released. That he did when he walked. I can see it? far away, my. No, dude. I said when you <laughs> walked in, you created some with that jacket. That's oh. what I first said. So I don't I know the actual fucking definition. I know what a pheromone is, but I don't know what the definition was, man. God um, damn it! Somebody say boo. It does. Boo it essence. Sex, yeah, it can attract that. You said for the sex glands and all. It's the bolitic nectar, right? The bolitic nectar would be smegma. And Look up smegma. The vaginal yeah. mist, not yeah. created at, from infection. Look at D. Vaginal mist that vaginal is not created mist. from an infection. Is that is that is that fair? Hmm. Okay, here's smegma. Smegma. You can't even say that word. I can't even <laughs> can't see even. it. Pudding. Dick Smegma. butter. <laughs> Smegma. Right. Dick X spray. <laughs> That's the nigga that ain't washing at all. Smegma. Uh. Smegma is created after you take four steps out of the shower in July. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> you cannot avoid Smegma. <laughs> But there are some who are attracted to smegma. Ooh, and wow. these people don't step up because they're worried about being ridiculed. <laughs> and I don't think that's fair. Just because somebody likes smegma or a particular person's smegma, they're ashamed to talk about it. What, what is it? Is, it? is it another word besides smegma for the shit that comes on a woman? 
Like, like well, they've called it genital do. Uh, oh, <laughs> clit sweat. They've come up with several <laughs> terms. But I'm saying on a just, woman, just, on a woman, is it different? Because they said a man. It's just nature, like nature's secretion stuff. That's sec- just secreting from the nature's secretions. I mean, like what the, Why does it sound it's, sweet it's with Darlene's definition? Natu- for nature's secretion. Something that naturally secretes from the vaginal exit. Piss holes do. Is that no? What, what is ew? No. Why what is the, the word for women? If it ain't the, smeg, my, vaginal do. Yeah, What's cute. that? Clip that's bomb. So um, Vaginosis. What is it? No, that's no, disgusting. That's, that's the stuff when the girl is is is, is cooter is, cologne. Cooter cologne. No, it's just the it's just the natural juices that the flow. Kitty yeah. juice. It's right? that's healthy stuff. The yeah, kitty yeah, yeah, juice. Yeah. Clit Carmex. No. Oh. <laughs> I like vaginal sap. Vaginal sap? <laughs> Crotch syrup. Ew. <laughs> anyway, you bring Squeeze these things, you bring these things meat up. Wide why? Droppings. Cock snot. You brought these up. Why? Vaginal smegma. Oh, so there's vaginal, vaginal smegma. smegma. Is that real? That's a- To this. No, because that's just the natural stuff that comes out of it. If not, then that person's probably dead if there's nothing coming out of your body like that. Pum, no, pum, no, I'm powder. not saying the person who is who has the smegma. I'm saying the person who likes the smegma. Are they a have, perv? Are they a... Uh, what are they? What are no. they in the eyes of, of Darlene? In me? In my eyes? I don't think so. Yeah, I think, yeah. A freak? That would be freak. That would be freaky because really? you got to be dirty to have smegma. Do you? No, you don't. It just didn't. It didn't a say man, that. A man. A man. That's disgusting because so, it's in the fold. When you walked from nothing. your car to this seat, smegma was created. No. 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 Oh my God. Oh, you got no. on some dry sack cologne, huh? <laughs> Where are we? Where? No, just the natural. We're in I mean, it's not always land. dry down there, right? The fuck? Just regular dry regular sack natural, cologne. Right. Dry idea. If you it's got... not sour and if it doesn't have coloration or if it doesn't have thick, it, it, but just regular discharge. Yeah, like just. Let's see. It's Is not it normal. normal. Are what? you normal? This guy says, I like it when my girlfriend doesn't wash her vagina. When you're dealing with pheromones. To find your loved one. I've seen that done. Yes. And what they're saying is women tend to pick men based off of the pheromones. And they smell, you know, the T-shirt and the must on the T-shirt. You know, the experiment is you wear the T-shirt for a few days and you kind of just ferment in the T-shirt. And you put the T-shirt in a bag and then they let women smell the bag and they can choose the man based off of the scent. That they're attracted to. The pheromone. Right. It's a weird experiment because yeah, but it, my experience is, speaking for myself, I have to see who the person is. <laughs> but of course. In order to be interested in smelling any motherfucker. <laughs> but then he ain't going to be interested if he sees the nose or a dent in her chin. What are you or talking about? Or... I, done, I done had some big nose bitches who smegma was all that. Oh, my God. Here How we is go. your smegma all that? What? I know. <laughs> You, know, you got some real cool smegma, bitch. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Best smegma I've ever had. So, oh. stop it. You didn't admit it to licking ass on this motherfucker. I don't think smegma is that bad. Oh, you Boom. didn't know that, T.T.? Oh, you didn't know that, T.T.? Oh, T.T. wasn't The champ is here. 
Oh, 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 my God. Look, T-T, oh, my God. you ain't never licked no man ass. What about a girl ass? Oh, oh. stop. Here he goes. What oh, about wait. your own <laughs> Oh, my God. Hold on. She, she said she didn't have her ass licked, but she ain't never licked no ass. <laughs> Selfish. You didn't lick the ass before. You didn't want her to outfit or something. Oh, oh God. Jesus. What? <laughs> Oh, that's right. Take she says she's going to save it for her husband. That means she has desires to lick her ass, but she's trying to lick her ass the right way. And there's nothing wrong I'm with that. I'm licking ass dude. in the eyes of the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> what would Jesus do? <laughs> Jesus sanctified all it is. No T.T. lick ass. Oh, T-T. stop. You smoke name. weed, you lick ass. Oh, 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 oh. God, That's Jesus. basically the same. All Yo. girls who smoke... <laughs> Be like, nigga, what's up, though? Let me violate you. And you give it in one day. You be like, fuck it, get it over with. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you, IDGF. <laughs> he said, my smack was butterflies. That's so A cute. nigga said that? Yes, That I nigga was so. at that cute dog party, too. Oh, stop. <laughs> he, he was the first nigga one there. <laughs> Haters. That, anyway. that cute dog party smelled like a uh, smegma fi smegma. <laughs> no, but some people just might not want to say, like smegma. you said. So what is your point here? Are you trying to say that people that people shouldn't shame people when they admit that they like stuff like that? <laughs> what all I was trying to say was there are a lot of people who are attracted to pheromones, smegma of somebody they dealing with. Some smegma of nobody they don't got to know. Like you say, some people sniff T-shirts that were sent to them in a bag. I mean, it's an and then the type of bitches would be marching against Mike Vick or somebody. Oh, stop! Like, you, you better sniff a shirt and sit your funky like, ass that's down. That's something bitch. they do in the privacy of the home, and they're not harming anybody. Good Lord! Jesus said, "Bring me that ass." Oh, stop! <laughs> Aim to be the savages we really are. There's a lot of people who have savage-like instincts, but it's just not cool to talk about it. Well, of course not. It's called keeping the privacy. You don't have to. All things don't need to be spoke about now. <laughs> I didn't say all things need to be spoken about, but hummus I'm saying, juice. Hummus juice. <laughs> all I'm saying is, when people be like, Ugh, and then in the privacy they be like. Ugh. I think that's pretty hypocritical. Oh, brother, no, because that's people do people, not though. have to be up front. Right. People don't have to admit. You say that's most people, yeah, right? Most yeah, people, most of people are hypocrites yeah, they don't when know. it comes to sex. Yeah. No, it's called private. It's called private? Because keeping it private. Sometimes that's more sexy. And people go, oh, I did not know so that. Smegma didn't know that about you. Zoe sauce. What? What did he say? Somebody said, Zoe smegma equals tartar sauce. Ooh. I get it. I'm a fish. I'm a oh. shark. <laughs> wah, wah, that's so stupid. Niggers. Uh, that's a good one. What? They said, D smegma smells like iced tea old songs. <laughs> or crotch queso. Crotch queso. <laughs> you stupid. Anyway. Well, I, I, I wanted to bring that up because I felt like I, I noticed this shit. It's just most people are, are hypocrites when it comes to this, that, and the other. And I just wanted to speak on it. Well, what do you want them to do? You want them to stand up and declare I don't expect nobody to desires. stand up and declare anything that they don't want to, to declare. On. Most people don't have the whatever it takes to admit God damn it, I like to sniff shit. It's some people like to sniff feet. Some people, uh, I done had some weird old motherfuckers. This girl was like, don't be judging me, but I want to smell your earwax. And I like, earwax? Oh, what is wow. earwax? I don't know what she wanted. She got some. she liked to sniff ears and, and lick ears. I don't like that ear licking shit for some reason. Now, that, it's something no. about that. <laughs> They make me be like, oh, because there's some people the, who like to well, lick ears. Well, now, kissing ears. the ears is different. Kissing the ears is different. Kissing ears is different. A little licking. nibble, maybe even a little teeth. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> I don't know. It's like, <laughs> T.T. over there like. <laughs> <laughs> T.T. <it> tickles. <laughs> T.T. be like, suck that toe, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Smoking weed. <laughs> 
You forgot the This is what I Nick. found out. And I want everybody who don't know about this to do this shit. Oh, here we go. Because there's certain shit on your body <laughs> that you have to be careful. <laughs> Lick it. Most people Wait. don't know. <laughs> Wait, licking on other people's bodies. I'm just Let's saying people that. don't know. Okay, so what okay. do you have to be careful of? What are the danger zones in licking on another person's body? Corey? To all you people out there who don't know, do not ever lick go. the inside of somebody's belly button. <laughs> Oh, bro. Kind of lit mouth. <laughs> some repugnant shit right there. No, I want is, you to no. go and buy some goddamn Q tips, not the cheap ones. <laughs> buy the real Q tips and rub that motherfucker in the belly button and smell that motherfucker. Yeah, that's like the squeezing of a of a. You will find out your piercing. ass ain't the motherfucking stankiest thing on your body. That belly button <laughs> juice <laughs> smell like goddamn <laughs> um. Belly button juice. Belly button juice smell like <laughs> freeze teeth scrapings. Oh, Wait. I couldn't what? think of shit. What? Freeze, I couldn't think of shit. If you was here, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm, I, oh, you just weren't include him. <laughs> belly button him. juice stank like a motherfucker. Fish chili. Fish chili. Ew. <laughs> God damn. And other parts of the body is more normal. Where you be like, I didn't expect that to smell good. But belly button juice is the sleeper. It's a silent killer. <laughs> Next time your baby is crying and won't go to sleep, dig a motherfucking Q-tip in your motherfucking <laughs> belly button and rub it over his nose. That little nigga going to bed. That motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> So you're saying it's that strong, it's going to make the baby faint. Belly button juice stank like a motherfucker. I'm just going to let you all know. I think it depends on how deep your belly button is. So what you're trying to say is you got, the, you got a deep hole. Look at that belly button right there. Oh, oh my God. I'm going to tell you right uh, now. Oh shit! I can't. I can't with that. That look nasty to you, D. What? That belly button? <laughs> Wait, show us some more ugly belly buttons. Oh God, no! Find a couple more belly buttons. But see, hers didn't even go in. It was an Audi, so she don't have no. Fun you rub spelling. a Q-tip up under that little dick. <laughs> <laughs> that belly button oh gonna smell God. like sex sweat. Stop. No, it's, it smells Ooh. worse than pheromones. Oh, belly shit. button juice no, is. No, that's some, just. Stank. That's disgusting. That is not nothing nice. No, I most people do not clean their belly buttons. <laughs> That's why they don't know. One. Somebody Corey, said I it really was a dude in panties. And have you ever stuck your finger in there your belly no dude button? in panties. You, I ain't you, seen You can feel like a numbness because you're touching that little nerve where it was cut off. Your umbilical cord all the way in there. You can actually feel, ooh, and it tickles because it's like a little no, numb I don't tip. That. It's it a hurt. little numb tip. Oh, you think it hurts? If oh, they you, cut yours wrong. Did they? I got Cook County Hospital in Chicago. They cut my shit wrong. Somebody, that nurse used her They team. finna turn Cook County into a hotel. Ain't that a bitch? Ooh, what? that's scary. I'd be scared to see that. That's that hotel in that Batman haunted. with old boy. It's gonna be haunted. When he blew up the hospital. Oh, that's the hospital? That's Cook yeah. County Hospital. Oh, that's shit. gonna be haunted, I think, hotel. The Joker. When you switch the it cuts off the audio. Oh, anyway, what? I don't know. No, I don't the know. audio is off when you show the screen. Oh. That's what they said. It. We ain't got to see no more belly buttons. We finna wrap this pussy ass yeah. shit up. Yeah, anyway. Oh, I want to say really quick before we go. All right, B, go ahead. Happy birthday to my son. At midnight, he will be 25. Oh, I'm going to cry. Happy birthday, little Ice. Oh. Little Ice. Oh. 
Is it true he bought a year's supply of Dr. Phil in? Very funny. Oh, uh, I doesn't need that. That motherfucker can't sweat when he eating that pussy. He be like, bitch, don't move my head. No, he just doesn't care. He wanted to try it. He was sitting there. You saw know, it. His cut was ice, fly, though. Look, Ice a confident young man. Yeah, you know? he don't care. He's you know cool. what I'm saying? Shit, yeah. that motherfucker, them bitches be talking shit. He be like, bitch, I'm Ice T, son, bitch. And we've been working out, but we killing it at the gym. There'll be another one after me. <laughs> no, he's stupid. <laughs> Uh, anyway, uh, I want to say to oh Toledo, Ohio. Oh, yeah. Toledo, funny bone. This this the day after Thanksgiving, Friday and Saturday, we're gonna be in the motherfucking house. Toledo, funny bone is on. And I normally don't do shit like this, but I want to say this: people who try to promote their own shit and get they get on their feet, I like to show them love. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to let you guys know in the St. Louis area tomorrow, Wednesday, mm. Wednesday before Thanksgiving 2016, mm-hmm. um, one night only, the homegirl, Carmen Barton, uh, she was on that TV One Hollywood Diva show. The Hollywood mm-hmm. Divas, yeah. Uh, arguing with the big head bitch, the big face bitch. What was the big face bitch off, off, off the show? Was it Moesha? What was the name of the show? What's the small, the shorter one? Yeah, Countess, Countess Vaughn. Yeah, yeah, they was arguing. The bitch who um got the pie head face. Mm-hmm. Bitch looked like a sleepy pug. Oh, bless her heart. Not Carmen. The bitch. Uh, no, the little. No, of course <clears throat> not. Carmen don't. I'm saying the girl looked like Ernest Borgnine. Right. Damn. Hey, can we can we get this? Hello. Um. Uh, yeah. It's one night Wednesday, November twenty third. Um. Toledo, what is it? And, and no, this is this is in St. Louis. Oh, all St. my St. Louis folks, all my <laughs> motherfuckers out there in the St. Louis area, uh, two twelve South Tucker Boulevard, St. Louis, Missouri six three one zero two. She having a comedy show. Um, tickets are available at CarmenBarton.net. Um, I guess shit. I'm just saying uh, CarmenBarton.net. I think that's a Instagram is uh, Carmen Comedy. Um, I want everybody to go out in the St. Louis area. <laughs> I, for, first of all, I'll be in St. Louis New Year's Eve, by the way, tearing that motherfucker up. <laughs> yeah, but tomorrow night, if you can, get out, support the homegirl. Um, she's doing a show. She paid for it herself. Real. She rented out the venue herself. Wow. Because, wow. you know, a lot of comedians and entertainers, She's we getting de- her hustle on. We depend on promoters and things like that. Mm-hmm. But when you, when you get a couple of dollars, try to promote your own show. That's what I will promote the fuck <laughs> out of motherfuckers that help they self that I know. Right. So Wednesday night, <clears throat> fuck with the homegirl, Carmen Barton. Uh, she's doing a comedy show out there. I, I read the address. Um, y'all fuck with it, man. I want. I want to try to. It's she's a small beautiful. venue. We should be able to pack that motherfucker out. Yeah. It's a small venue. The tickets aren't but twenty dollars. Is know she what I'm beautiful? Saying? Uh, yeah. All girls beautiful to you, so. I'm just saying, it's Carmen beautiful. I haven't oh, seen. Oh yes. It. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I guess Carmen beautiful. I'm used <laughs> to signifying. It's just like with Darlene. I be talking about motherfuckers. I know. I mean, can't like give it up. <laughs> she, she's very pretty and she's, she's beautiful. nice. Just go to her shit, Carmen Comedy, and you'll and see. And she's nice. You're beautiful, That's Carmen. That's double threat. Su- yeah. Support her shit, god damn it. <laughs> go to her big jaw ass shit. I don't fuck with <laughs> No, she got a big jaw. What's you? What's, what is it with He's him and the jaw? Oh, just, just look at me, He's just net pick. I don't give a fuck. People can talk about me. I'm confident. Yes, you are. Not a lot of other people Somebody are. say Corey in love with Cheryl Underwood. <laughs> Cheryl's sweet. Cheryl like Underwood Cheryl. did the show with me in Chicago at um. I saw oh, that's that. right. She was on the bill. That's that nigga, right. that nigga Ronan was there early. He he took a picture of the stage. wasn't nobody in that motherfucker. I saw that on Twitter. I was like, Ronan was there. He was one of the first eight motherfuckers in line. I said, what the fuck? Nice. Everybody who came to the show from Chicago, fifty one fifty. The reason we remember Ronan name the most. Because he owned this motherfucker all the time. And, and he's we be been talking down shit. since like day one. He be talking hella yeah. shit up in there. And I want right. to thank all the people that <laughs> have been uh, 
buying a lot of the gear, 5150 gear. Thanks for supporting the show. Who bought the gear? Who spent that paper like that? Who oh, no. That? I got a gang of them, but there's a lot of them that we call We're them. We're going to start shouting out yeah. motherfuckers that support us because let me tell you something. I'm able to pay for this shit because Good looking out, motherfuckers people. be supporting this shit. Yeah. That's how it I works. I always it's felt amazing. like, okay, in the beginning, I was losing money up the ass with this shit because I was just spending money. Mm-hmm. But I knew once I built up a base, mm-hmm. I was like, it'll pay off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you had to create the line, you know, to begin with. This so. shit is all right. And yep. I'm telling you now, we I feel like we put out a good product. Mm-hmm. How are these shirts going, shirts going, D? Real good. Those shirts are going good. Nation shirts. Yep. I want to try to come out with a couple of shirts um, in the next two weeks for the Christmas shit. Oh. Um, it's going to be Ooh. some dope shit I'm going to put out there. I got some okay. dope ass jackets and shit for the ladies. Some hood shit, too. I got some dope shit, and uh, I'm gonna get this shit up um, on the site in the next couple of couple of weeks. Next week and the week after that, I'm gonna reveal some dope shit. And I know I'm a little, I'm talking a lot now, but I sincerely appreciate all you motherfuckers. Yeah, we definitely Word. wanna give a shout out to Ter- Terrence Buckley. Larry Terrence Mitchell. Terrence Buckley. Yes, and Larry Mitchell. Wow. They they, they be they just, looking out, don't they? Yeah, they be going over the top. And of course, our girl Cutie Pie. I mean, every time something comes out, they, See, they D, just they D big run supporters. the shop now. And they big supporters. He be on top of that shit. She makes sure everybody get their shit. Yes, we coming out with the 5150 hats. Um, I say this to, I mean, if you could tell, I'm, I'm talking about this shit. Like, I know I'm ranting on, but. That's all right. I appreciate shit. motherfuckers that. Yeah, yes, you gotta show out. love. Gotta I got show a, love. I got a system set up where you bless me and I try to bless you back. And mm. people who come to the shows with they 51, 50 shirts on, really, man, this shit be blowing my mind because I be like. It's amazing, yeah. It's yeah. a lot of motherfuckers with 5150 gear on at yeah. all these shows and shit. And I, I man, I, I really appreciate that shit, man. I know I do shit that. I like when people say, Corey, I don't agree with anything you say. Sometimes you take it too far, but you, I believe that you're a funny motherfucker and, and your heart in the right there place. That shit make me feel like, okay, I'm coming across the way That's I want to go. Because yeah. no matter That's how much up. shit I talk, I got lo- look, Kanye, I got love for you, man. I mm-hmm. know we used to talk about your asshole and shit, but them was jokes, goddammit. I go, wouldn't man. give a fuck that your asshole look like Shut- this earpiece right here, goddammit. <laughs> I Take got love, love for you. you, my nigga. You an earpiece asshole nigga I can't. that I love, goddammit. If Fuck it did look shit. like it. You anyway. from Chicago, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> also, oh, also John yeah. Coleman. I want to give a shout out to John Coleman. Uh, he has every single item that you have put out. Man, John Coleman, I can't tell so, you how much just, I appreciate that shit. Yeah. John Coleman. Who else? There's a lot of them. I mentioned those guys, but I've, I, gonna I'm going to get a list. Them. And pictures, please send in the pictures of you wearing it. And even I'm gonna show you how shows. creative I am. I'm gonna come out with a little rap about the motherfuckers who hold us oh, down. Oh, all right, oh, motherfuckers shit. who look oh, out shit. for us. Top sales. Okay, get you know in the rap. Yeah, and I, just supporting. They go to the shows. We go do. Yeah. Man, they be rap. at the shows. They be at the front row. They pay for the motherfucking um after shit to take the pictures and shit. Yep. motherfuckers ain't gotta do that shit. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Most that's up, Harmony shit. Clown? That's right. To you show too. You love, <laughs> nigga, I fuck with you, Corey. And I can't tell you I, how much I appreciate you and I fuck with you back. God damn it. Mm-hmm. I, like, if you got on a 5150 shirt, I won't even try to fuck your girl if she gave me some pussy. I'll be like, bitch, your nigga a 5150 nigga. I ain't fucking with you. That's family. <laughs> you got a 5150 shirt, yo. Your girl, I won't fuck her. You know this fame let me fuck people I wouldn't normally fuck. Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? I done fucked some bitches. I'm like, you gonna give me some money? Hey, thank you for buying my book, too. A lot that's of people right, Quiet Guy. That. That's and right, D's man. book as well. Thank, thank you. Thank you for that, Spur. We man, appreciate it. Be looking out. Motherfucker, Bobby, yeah. Bobby, Bobby came to me one day and told me, man, you know what? I can't tell you how much you changed what I do. Because motherfuckers was buying them fake-ass water machines. You know what? I can't. I can't really. He looking too. He waiting on you to agree with me. He'll fuck you up. <laughs> you know how energetic Bobby was. Shut up. Bobby is so played that basketball game. That's I right. said, this motherfucker Bobby is 30 years old body wise. He got 90 year old lungs from them squares, but Bobby is a spry old man. It took all I had to beat Bobby. Bobby be fucking the shit out of bitches with them bumblebee ass teeth. 
Girl, I'm about to show you what this Murfreesboro do. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Pretty Pretty Tony. I see him. He's in there. Pretty Tony? In the, he he's in, the, in there. Yeah, he said shout out. Like, Pretty Tony. That's <laughs> nigga. What we was at? We was in San Jose. We met my man. I cha with him. He can cha cha. Like Hell yeah. When you lift D up, boy, I <laughs> knew you was strong than a motherfucker. No, he didn't lift you up, did he? No, dude? no. I said, he was going to lift your ass. I know, and I said, no, 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 no. Shit, pretty Tony was like, I ain't no shit. I'm, I look skinny, goddammit. Oh, that motherfucker was dancing. He was like, lifting other girls up, yeah. That perm was I'm wiry, oh, girl. Oh, the shoulders, woo. nigga. And pretty Tony in this motherfucker. <laughs> he came to the show, he show really love, goddammit. Man, I, man, look, man, I meet so many motherfucking interesting people on the road, man. This is I'm having the time of my life. <laughs> yeah, I'm just telling you the truth. I meet motherfuckers like some of these people, they make me feel so comfortable. I knew if I was fucked up somewhere in that town, I could call them and be like, man, I'm fucked up, man. Yeah. Come get me. Well, like, like that, that's like Mexicans, that Mexicans, my people, Mexicans the took family care of you. that helped you with the car in when Ontario. You broke down. When I was going, when I was <laughs> doing the show in Ontario, they looked out. The Mexican homies, not only them motherfuckers drove me to get a battery for my car, all that shit, man. That's what I'm saying, man. This shit, this is some. This is man. Look, I believe people could see through bullshit. Most people. Most people. I got people. your back. You got my back. That's how we own. That's what we own. That's Don't what put it me is. On the spot though, I'll be like, get your pussy ass on. But I'm just saying. I got love. For Don't you. put me on the spot, though. No. It was people crying when you and Freeze was finna fight. They was like, "No, they got all fuck serious." Up the show. Yeah, it was my niggas. Man, Don't Freeze fuck is my up nigga. The show. We good. Him and Freeze back fucking. I mean, they cool as shit. And I'm just saying, what? My bad, man. Orion Don't beat me up, so everybody, no everybody can see you can fight now, Zo. Look at Zo. See that look? <laughs> this thing what, nigga? Where is the white nigga? <laughs> <laughs> oh god Head ram your ass nigga Come on man What the fuck <laughs> This nigga's always Anyway man This nigga man <laughs> So all my niggas who sent me that video Where they rolled over and fucked their girl <laughs> And had her say He gave me the 5150 oh. That's what I knew it was for real <laughs> Motherfucker How the they fuck sent I'm it in. Oh yeah you didn't what? know that I just Oh you didn't see the videos Oh my look. god they sent them in Let me tell you something I don't get mad at niggas like Carlito's way and all the motherfuckers when they drunk because I know it's some wild niggas <laughs> on this shit. Long as they ain't trying me like on that punk shit, we good. Right. You know what I'm saying? But niggas, when they sent them video, look, I will put in a request for next week. They said put you on right to quick TV. We have, we have, uh, well, if she want to come say hi, come say hi. They want to see you, T, T, T. You ain't got that, uh, you ain't got that hair gel right, got done or something? Oh, you got to, you look, so you Everybody is TT. God damn it. TT still like that drone, nigga. Yay. That drone. TT smell like no, that. No, no, Ooh, wait. This no. that shit Martin Sticky, Lawrence Iggy, was Iggy. crazy on my <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, she stop. just left Snoop Dogg crib, God damn it. <laughs> hey, Snoop, come fuck with us. Why don't we come on your show? Come on my show. We gonna hook it yeah. up. Mr. Melvin said, hi, TT. Anyway. All right. Well, niggas we wrap it up. Niggas Much love. <sighs> Much love, that's for sure. Oh, my God. Um, um, we're going to start having more guests on the show, too, God damn it. Mm-hmm. Now that we got a bigger place. Mm-hmm. Fuck y'all. I already know it's coming. A bigger storage, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> niggas be like. Niggas be like. And they had the 5150 show in that moving truck. Did that's you see hilarious. the meme? Somebody put up a meme. I was dying laughing. 5150. <laughs> <laughs> at the, at a storage, you could get it. You could get it. Hey man, that's just what it is. We in a storage unit, so fucking what? If I can talk TT and D into it, you can go on a date with TT and D. Now it's gonna cost all you niggas. This Why date gonna cost you. I go on a date. Four hundred dollars. Four hundred. Yeah, cause you gotta take them somewhere they used to eat. Wait, we gotta go as a package deal. <laughs> we gotta go. Oh, we gotta go to a package deal. <laughs> yeah, package deal. Goddammit, they ain't gonna bust a grape. Maybe you gonna. I don't know. D and T T. Who you think would go <laughs> first if a nigga had some money? Oh my God! Stop. Who you think would go first? <laughs> Zoe ain't wanna answer that. Oh my God! <laughs> cut it out. What if some nigga had a straight up G? Like, what's up with that pussy though? Know? Oh, Lord. Who you think would go? Look at TT looking like, oh, mm-hmm. well, you, you won't go say. for a G? What about five Gs? Five Gs, sex with a condom on, never see the nigga again. 
That's right. <laughs> like, bring something to smoke, nigga. <laughs> Sticky, Iggy, Iggy, nigga. Don't drop that 5G. You, <laughs> Shit, you can spend the night, you gonna do that. No. 5G's changed the thing. Too, nigga. <laughs> this is a real upgrade right there. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, so. All right. TT, what's your shit where people can reach you? You know I'm raising your profile. Oh. What's your little Instagram or whatever? What you got? Uh oh, Klepto Dallas is T T ready. Go ahead, say something, T T. T E T E S L O V E, the number four U. T T's love for you. Oh, I like that. Uh oh. All right. So all y'all niggas trying to get a T T, do your thing, goddammit. T T cool is just she look thin for me, goddammit, huh? Motherfucker, them ribs be showing while she's stirring your food. Give me that. Hey. No worries. I'm going to get all the names together. The I'm folks have spent the, all that money. I'm going to get all the names day. together. Tax season, nigga. Hey, what? Oh. <laughs> anyway. All right. Hey, 5150. Y'all have a nice Thanksgiving with your family and shit. Eat some pussy after dinner. And we about this bitch. Yeah.